Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I know we've been in our houses for at least three weeks now doing self uh, distancing, self isolation, social distancing, whatever it is, we've been away from the people we are used to seeing and can lean on for support. And right now, this time just shows us that we need each other more than ever, especially the ones who are most vulnerable, but all while keeping a safe distance. And I know some parents have been um, racking their brains with trying to figure out how they're gonna go with day-to-day -day life and maintain some sense of normalcy while the kids are now at home and kids might be being hyperactive. So you might need a break. So if I can read a story to your kids, um, using one of my favorite things in the world, my own library card, I was able to check out a children's book on one of their external sites. And I thought it was a pretty funny book. So if you have younger kids and they are in for um, a story, I am going to be reading The Great Sheep Shenanigans by Peter Bentley and May Matsuoka. So let's get into it. The Great Cheap Shenanigans by Peter Bentley and May Matsuoka. A lamb for my supper will taste mighty fine, thought a wily old wolf by the name of Lupine, as he sneakily, slyly snuck up on the flock, but it wasn't the sheep who were in for a shock. He chuckled, how stunningly cunning I am, as he slunk through the hedge and met Rambo the Ram. Scram, bellowed Rambo, vamoose, steer clear. Wolves are not welcome, buzz off out of here. What I need, grumbled Lou, is a sheeply disguise to give those dumb muttons a nasty surprise. So he wrapped himself up in a fluffy white gown that belonged to Ma Watson, the best shot in town. He lay on the road to get covered in gunk. Bah, cried the sheep. It's an overgrown skunk. At the fair, Lou saw cotton candy on a stick. My own candy fleece, what a fabulous trick. He flicked on the switch, and at first it was fun, but faster and faster and faster he spun. He looked in the mirror and felt his heart sink. He ended up dizzy and sticky and pink. Lou found a thicket of blossoming trees. Down came the blossoms, and down came the bees. I know, sputtered Lou, I have a brilliant plan. It's time for a trip to Red Riding Hood's Gran. Hello, Granny dearest, it's me, Little Red. My word, what a big ball of yarn, Granny said. Lou dropped his hood and declared all the better for you to get cracking and knit me a sweater. And if it's not done, by the time I get back, I'll be in the mood for a grand flavored snack. The very next day, Lou returned for a fitting and had to admit Gran was dandy at knitting. He chuckled, how dashingly smashing I am. Tonight, I'll be scarfing a young tasty lamb. But Gran thought, he'll pay me for knitting that wooly. I'll play my own trick on that big nasty bully. While Lou wasn't looking, she grabbed a loose thread and tied it at once to the end of her bed. As he slipped through the hedgerow, some ewes standing near, looked up at old Lou and said, Morning, my dear. Can you check on our lambs? They're behind that big tree. No problem, said Lou. You can leave them to me. I fooled them, thought Lou. What a genius I am. Now shall I have cutlets or roast leg of lamb or chops and mint sauce or even lamb stew? or burgers, moussaka, or lamb vindaloo. As he hungrily hurried as far as the tree and peered all about, but no lambs could he see. They must be here somewhere, they can't have gone far. Come out, little lambkins, wherever you are. And then he heard footsteps. Aha, here's a lamb. So Lou looked around and saw Rambo the Ram. He aimed his big horns at the wolf's derriere and sent him skedaddling up in the air. Ouch, my behind, howled Lou as he flew and landed kersplat in a big pile of poo. I think that's the last of this wolf and his wiles, laughed Rambo. From now on, we'll smell him for miles. 
that's the end of that story. I hope you enjoyed that. This was the first time that I ever read a children's book. So hopefully I did voices and characters and everything that you parents do when you're reading to your kids before bedtime, just right. And uh, hopefully they enjoy the story. And together we can get through this crazy situation that we're going in one day at a time. In my garage reading stories. See y'all later.